If you didn't watch the Conference USA championship game between the UTSA Roadrunners and the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, you miss arguably the best game of the weekend. And it was the first one that you could have watched. It was that one in the Pac-12 championship. And UTSA comes away with a 49-41 win, and thanks largely in part to Sincere McCormick. The Roadrunners running back was phenomenal on on Friday night, and they did it in a bunch of different ways. Now, the running was what really got him uh, on on track, but they used him in jet sweeps. They used him in the passing game, and then, you know, like I said, the, the running the ball was still what made him succeed in what was really a big impact play for UTSA. Running the ball, Western Kentucky did not have an answer. And there's a couple plays we'll go over. The first one, you'll see we just get a zone run to the left, and there's a couple keys that spring Sincere McCormick loose. Now, the first one is you see, like I said, we're zone to the left, which means that everybody is just blocking into the gap to their left. And the first thing we notice is we get penetration upfield by this defender here. It's going to open a natural hole here, and it's not to necessarily hold because we have a middle linebacker that should be filling that. However, with the reverse action, you'll see that he is going to get caught right here. He sees reverse, and this is a big key because he should not have this action here. One of these two guys should be the contained player, but because this linebacker sees it, he creates another vacancy right here. You'll see there's this natural running lane for McCormick to run through. Now, there's two or three guys that can get a hand on him, but he's too powerful to be taken down, and he's going too quick at this point. That also leaves a lineman a tackle, one of the best tackles in Conference USA, Spencer Burford, against a DB, and that's a matchup that UTSA is going to win every single time. So like I said, two guys have a chance to get McCormick. Neither one of them, one of them doesn't even get him, doesn't even get a hand on him. The other one is an arm tackle, and Sincere McCormick is not going to go down with those. He also notices that this DB goes to the inside. He's going to bounce to this natural running lane on the outside. And from there, it's off to the races. Now, Sincere McCormick does not have the breakaway speed that you would anticipate uh, but at the same time, he's you know he's not going to run away from people, but he can if needed. And Western Kentucky has him kind of right here, but because he's so powerful, he uses his power there to create separation, create some distance, and then from here he just pulls away. This is what was impressive right here. He's already created separation from the thirty. You know he gets gets a stiff arm at the forty, and by the thirty. He's already created room, and then when he gets to the 20, he's already created two more yards worth of room. So that was very impressive. So it all starts from the vision to see here. Western Kentucky's DB, or excuse me, their linebacker, decides he is the contained player. Not sure how they draw that up. One of those blitzers here has to be that guy. Because that linebacker vacates this opening, that leaves, like I said, a DB one-on-one -on -one with a tackle. Since Zoom McCormick just has to break one tackle from here, and then he essentially just has to run past the other guys that are going to try to catch him. So a 65-yard touchdown seems like it was just uh, all Sincere McCormick. There's a few things that went into it. He did quite a bit of it, but it helps when Western Kentucky doesn't have the greatest uh, game plan in place. But a great run by Sincere McCormick, and this was really just the beginning of what was a great night for him. McCormick's last touchdown was another display of his power. You see the, the power that he runs with makes it very difficult for teams to bring him down, even in the trenches. And we're going to get a couple pullers here. They're going to lead the way. The tight end and the left guard will pull here. Left guard is going to kick out the defensive end on the top here. Now the defensive end still tries to spin around and make the tackle, but... There's just enough of an opening, and Sir McCormick's legs are too strong to be tackled by someone who's not in, really in position to do that. Also, you'll notice the other defensive lineman here on the edge is still trying to maintain leverage on both sides. He's still trying to keep both shoulders open so that he can make a play on either side. You'll see that he even gets outside, but because, like I said, that tight end comes around, pulls, pulls around the outside, he cleans up 
that. So there's now a, a natural running lane right here for McCork to run through. And that leaves a DB to make a tackle on here. Again, I'm not sure what Western Kentucky was doing because right now you have three guys, two here, one here, in essentially one gap. And while I get that they're going to play contain here, I'm not sure what they're reading. And this is just a good play call by UTSA to get Sincere McCormick into space. And then, like I said, breaks this kind of a tackle by that defensive end. We got another defensive lineman getting pancaked over here. A one-on-one -on -one with a DB is a matchup that you expect Sincere McCormick to win every time. Throws a little stiff arm. DB kind of just goes along for the ride. Falls down. Just not really not in McCormick's realm in terms of being being able to take him down in strength and then he just finishes it in for the touchdown this was when UTSA was starting to pull away uh, now props to Western Kentucky for being able to figure things out and try to make it a game which ended up being a very entertaining game but UTSA at this point was just laying the hammer on Western Kentucky and then this was also when McCormick gets called for an unsportsmanlike conduct I'm not sure if I agree with that I don't think that was really necessary both how chippy the game was i think they were just trying to send a message there so a uh, great performance by sincere mccormick it's just everything that you've expected from him and we know what he can do you know it was just a great way to end the season for well i guess they have one more game but to finish conference usa championship game on top and to have mccormick have the game that he did was absolutely phenomenal I hope UTSA gets a good bowl game. I think that they will be very competitive, and if you're able to run the ball like they did against Western Kentucky, they're definitely going to be in good hands.